So today's plan was a group ride out in Four Peaks, Arizona. Well, everything didn't go quite to plan. I ended up cracking the engine case on my bike. Tag along on the trail and see how I did it. At this point, we're all just hanging out, waiting to see if anybody else shows up. Um, taking a look at everybody's bikes, we had some sweet Tanare 700s out there today. Got to test drive one of these up in Flagstaff at the Off-Road Expo, and man, they are a sweet little bike. After a few minutes, we all packed up and hit the road. At this point, we're getting pretty close to making a right-hand turn on Bush Highway, and it's closed. So we ended up taking a detour around the long way, um, getting us back to the Four Peaks area. At this point, we finally made it to dirt, turning right off Highway 87. This was definitely a much easier ride when compared to Box Canyon. So if anyone's thinking of taking this trip, it's definitely a nice, easy one. But funny enough, this is the ride where I fell and cracked my case. I was pushing my speed a little bit. Um, usually I like to ride a little more relaxed, but as long as you carry all the tools you could possibly need, within reason, you can usually get yourself out of a sticky situation. <laughs> Under your foot? Okay. Okay. I got it. Welcome, man. You alright? Here, just lean it up against the wall. Alright. <coughs> You good? Good? Thank you. crazy seeing the snow on the reverse side of the mountain.
It's like, <laughs> it's not a competition, yeah. but I think that I won. I think you won it. <laughs> this is not a jiffy lube. What are we doing? <laughs> Oh, he hit the miles on the oil change. And... Yes, if we could stop the oil change right now. <laughs> the minute it hit the mile, he just flipped it on its side. And, <laughs> and that's a hell of an oil drain he got there, man. That's definitely unique. At the end of the video, I'll go into more detail about what happened on the trail and how I ended up cracking my case on that turn. We made it back to the main road and luckily there was no leak so I'm good to continue riding home. good a couple people crashed I had the biggest crash of the day um, it was probably going 10 miles an hour 10 15 miles an hour around a corner and it just started to slide from underneath me um, and what happened was so when the bike ended up sliding I had this crash bar here so this normally mounts in there and then it would bolt down there well, I've had an issue with those bolts before because I hit right here with a pretty big rock going to Crown King. So I left those two bolts out and just had this point. And then there was a spot over here where this bolted in. Well, what happened was when I slid out, this was dragging on the ground and this ended up going like that. So what happened, when this peaked up, it cracked this plastic cover, this plastic protective cover and when it hit that, it ended up going all the way through and cracking the case cover. So when it cracked that case cover, um, obviously it was leaking oil. So luckily we were able to get the plastic cover off. It wasn't a full puncture, it was just a crack. Um, so we were able to scratch it up, put some JB Weld on it, and then I had that with me, and then I added some oil. So it's back to the oil level that it needs to be at. Um, also, you can kind of see on this side, passenger peg, nice and tight. On this side, that's supposed to sit flat. So I'm gonna have to heat that up and bend that back down. When I ended up sliding, so I slid on this side, these Moscow Moto bags just took it. Like there's not, there's like some scuffs on it, but really if I, if I could probably wipe those out. Um, that's pretty good for the fact that everything else on the side either got bent way out or completely bent up. So those Moscow Moto bags and this Outback Moto Trek. Let me see if I can get that in there. They held up phenomenal. Like they're still completely solid. Um, they don't wiggle at all. And this little uh, Touratech knockoff toolbox off Amazon for like 70 bucks held up really good as well. Um, it was great because I had all the tools I needed in there. So here's a short little clip with the whole route from where we met at the gas station all the way up to Crown King and then back towards my house. Okay, so it's the day after the Four Peaks ride where I ended up cracking my case with my crash bar. So, super great. So, what we're going to end up doing is I have this plastic protector over the case itself. It's, uh, it's like a protector. So, I'm going to take this case off, case protector off, and see if the JB Weld that I applied to the case didn't allow it to leak any further. 
Um, I didn't see any leaks when I got home. It's been a whole day. Um, so I'm thinking it held up, but I'm going to take it off just to make sure. And then all of the crash bars are loose now because it was supposed to connect at these two points with this, which got, this got bent real bad. So I'm going to see if I can get this back in here and then probably cut this bent part off. Try to leave this upper portion. That way I just have a little extra protection. That way I'm not just getting rid of it completely. Um, but we'll see how it goes. Um, I'm positive I saved that screw when we did this trail side repair. Um, but I haven't seen it since I got home and I haven't looked for it. So we'll see, but let's take it apart. So first thing we're gonna do is get the case cover off. Right there. And we got no leaks. So we ended up adding the JB weld to the bottom and it held up great. There is absolutely no oil coming out of there. So that should be good. And I'm sure you probably noticed that right there. That is from a previous incident of why this crash bar wasn't attached down here. So now that we're down here, I'll show kind of what happened. So this was mounted up here, just like that. These two bolts belonged, it belonged to these two. And what happened was when I was coming around a corner and I'm sure I told the story already, but I was coming around a corner probably 10 miles an hour and the back end started to slide out and I lost it. So I had a controlled slide, ended up bending this out. And when th this bent up, this curved piece right here ended up poking a hole right through this. You can see that we're just gashed it. And that's what put those little dents in there. So luckily it's not too bad. I was able to just do the JB Weld fix, but that's great to see. So now we'll just work on getting this bar cut and that's it. I already topped it off with oil um, when we were on the trail because I travel with a little extra canister of oil with me. I always bring extra fuel. Um, never had to use the extra fuel, but I have on my truck before. So it's nice to have it. And then in this back pouch back here, I keep one of these little small bottles of oil. So after fitting it in, um, that bolt will still line up for the back and I did have it in my tool pouch so didn't lose that on the trail didn't leave anything behind um, so yeah I think I'm just gonna cut it off right here I'll still attach it right there which there's a bend in this metal from the factory so if this ever does get hit it should flex a little bit but with this guard and the fact that it's not hitting it with a point I should be fine um, this one only went through because it hit with this sharp edge so with this if it hits it's going to hit with this nice round bar covered in the paracord. So this should be pretty easy to fix. Um, cut that off and we'll be good to go. Okay, so I ended up getting this cut. So you can see that that's not round anymore. That was supposed to be round. That thing got bent pretty bad and I'll throw in a picture right here showing you. Um, here's where I cut it off before. Last time it cracked the case right up here when it hit this bar and pushed it back. It cracked it up here and that's why I bought a new one. Um, that was a little more severe of a crack, so I ended up replacing it. This one's not too bad and it's not leaking, so I'm happy with it. So I'll end up getting this back in here. I'll kind of speed up this process and show you how it looks when it's done. It's important to get the thread started before you just start drilling it in. That should do, I'll tighten that up a little bit by hand. And then we'll just tighten these little screws back up. Hopefully my track record doesn't continue and I end up hitting this spot a lot more. Um, but really, every time I've cracked the case, it's been because of the crash bars. So maybe because I no longer have a crash bar there, I won't damage it anymore. So we'll see, but I have this back. This is all sturdy. So we uh, should be good to go. So I'll just give it a quick wipe down and oh, that's the end of this adventure. So actually, before I end this one, I just realized something else. So with this crash bar, or the uh, when the crash bar hit down here and punctured it, this is from when it was scraping up and down. Like I'm sure those probably would have done damage to the case without these protectors. So they didn't do a phenomenal job, but they definitely helped. Um, I actually have them on both sides just because it doesn't hurt. Um, Until next time, I'm gonna get back to, to the house, get something to eat and relax. Um, but until the next video, like and subscribe, and I'll, I'll see you there.